Hello, O-Doers. Meetings are an inescapable part of any industry, whether it's an internal one-on-one -on -one between team members or a one-on-one -on -one with your boss or an external meeting with a potential client, you can schedule any kind of meeting you want with Odoo's easy to use calendar module. With the calendar module, you can manage your time more effectively, boost your productivity, and quickly schedule meetings with just a few clicks. So let's dive into my database and, just, and see just how easy it is to create and schedule a meeting with Odoo Calendar. Okay, so here we are on the database's main menu. Now, of course, I can click into the calendar module and view my own calendar and create events. But did you know, I can also create meetings and schedule them directly from the chatter? As we saw in other videos, each record in Odoo has a chatter function. If I click on the quote for 150 carpets card, you'll notice the chatter shows us any updates, messages, log notes, and scheduled activities. Now, when I create a new activity by clicking on the schedule activity button over here on our right and change the activity type to a call or a meeting, you'll notice that some fields disappear. In this case, when we selected a meeting, the bottom button changes from schedule to open calendar. Now, let me type a quick summary of the uh, meeting topic. In this case, service presentation for ReadyMix. Then when I click on open calendar, Odoo will directly save the activity for me and redirect me to my calendar. Now, first, what I'm going to want to do is um, I need to zoom out. It's a little bit zoomed in, so we're going to select the month view. Now, I need my team member Mark to attend this meeting, so I'll make sure he's checked over here under the attendee section on the right. And let's also add another one of my team members, um, Lori, by typing her name in this add attendees field. So we're going to type in Lori, and there she is, Lori. Oh, I can see that Mark is actually out sick today, noticing that now. No worries. It's okay, Mark. COVID's going around. It's all right. We'll just schedule the meeting for tomorrow, and we're going to create a new calendar event for this. So I can either click the Add button in the top left or click directly on the slot I want on the calendar. But let me switch back to the week view so I can click the, the uh, specific time slot I want because it's pretty hard to do on the month thing. So we're going to click on the week button. And I'll schedule this meeting tomorrow for, let's say, 10 a.m. We don't want it to be too early. Now, you can see the meeting subject line is automatically filled with the activity summary I wrote earlier, which is really convenient. No one likes showing up to a meeting wondering what it's about. At this point, I can also just click create to quickly put this on my calendar, or I can click edit to configure a bit more details. In our case, we got a couple more details. So although I had Mark and Lori selected under attendees, that only shows me their calendar events and when they're available. I still need to add them as attendees to this specific meeting. So what I'm gonna do is select attendees. I'm gonna type Mark and Lori and select both of them to add them in. I can also add my client right away since I have their contact information saved in my database. Now, if I select it there and we're all set. In the meetings details tab, I can edit the start and end times or mark it as an all day event. Now, I'm gonna set the meeting duration to one hour and you can see it automatically updates, uh, updates the end time as you can see over there. Now, if this meeting is face to face, I can quickly set a location here or if it's an online only meeting, we can add a meeting URL here. Now I can also add tags and set a reminder. Now, the tags are going to be customer meeting and the reminder we're gonna do probably six hours before the meeting. Now this particular reminder will send an email to all of them just you know six hours before the meeting actually starts. Now I can also create and edit new reminder types directly from this form. And even more so than that, if I need to, I can even do SMS text messaging, like let's say two hours beforehand. For instance, if I wanted to send a text message reminder, in this case, you know, SMS text message, two hours, it'll let them know two hours before a meeting to their phone, hey, log in, you got a meeting, time to go. That's pretty simple, right? Now, it should be noted that adding attendees like this 
lets me see their scheduled events on their respective Odoo calendars as well. In the options menu tab up here, I can choose to make this meeting a recurring event, you know, like if it's a weekly type of thing and change its, its uh, visibility and underneath the, uh, the privacy menu. Or I can also even change how this meeting shows my status as busy or available on the calendar, which is pretty convenient as well. Now, I'm pretty happy with these settings, so I'll go ahead and click email to invite my attendees to this meeting, and we're gonna click it now. Now, when I do this, Odoo automatically uses the preloaded calendar event update template for the email. I could edit it if necessary, but I like how it is, so we're just gonna hit send because pre-done stuff is better than having to come up with stuff on the fly. Now I can, see, uh, I can save my new meeting settings, and we're gonna click Save, and I'm gonna wait for my attendees to confirm my invitation. Now, as you can see, Odoo makes it easy to set up meetings directly from a record. In just a few clicks, I can see other users' calendars and schedule a time that works for everyone. I can re also rest easy knowing that I have configured reminders that will be automatically sent out to all my meeting attendees. And this is all thanks to Odoo. So that's all for now, but be sure to check out the other tutorials and documentation to learn even more about calendar features, like how to share availabilities or set up online appointments modules. Thank you for watching. And remember, it's Odoo, not Odoo.